Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn about the prop types. That is add nothing but adding validations to the component props. For example, if you are having a component and that component accepts some properties, props, we can add validations to the to those props also. So that means for example, if any if anybody using that component and if they are not passing those props means so you can if you, if you are adding a validation to the props so we can restrict the user to not uh, not using that component without using the props okay so that means we can add validations for, we can make the user required that means he has to send those props okay so how we can write that one so let's try to see in this video now for example i am creating one component that is nothing but the user prop types so I am enabling this one and here what I can do sorry here I will be having one folder user prop types and in this one I am creating user prop types user prop types dot js and here what I can write export default class export default class user prop types user prop types extends component okay so in this component what i will try to have is i will try to have a constructor that is nothing but the props and it will take we need to pass those props to the super parent constructor and here i am having a state that is nothing but users i am having and this one will be an array of object that is nothing but name leela and id of type 1 in the same scenario i will have another one something like name leela 2 and id of 2 let's see i am having these two users now here what i will try to do i will be having the render and here i will return so i will be having one div okay in this div this dot state sorry this dot state dot users dot map so i will be having each user and what i will try to do i will try to send this one to another component so let me create this component here user details dot js and here i will be having export default sorry export default class user details extends component and here i will be having a constructor if you don't have also not a problem so why because we are not creating anything here so i will be having super of props and here i will be having a render method so here i will return div and here what i will try to do is here in the user details this is the component right let me import this component and here i will pass the name user dot name and here i will pass id user dot id so whatever the details i am having i will be passing here okay so user details here i will try to design something like div what happened here yeah so user or otherwise what i can do is name user dot name in the same scenario i can write here id sorry not this one this dot props dot name and here this dot props dot id okay so this is the component so i am sending you for the user details name and id as a props so that here the props it is showing here so here i need to return it you need to remember okay so this is the code now here we need to add the key why because as we are looping we need to add a key so this key cannot be accessed as a props here so you can't think that this key can you can, can you can access as a props right we cannot access key is a special character here so now this is the thing right so now let's let me add this user prop types and let us check the output so if i try to check the output here user prop types is not different we have already added let's try to refresh this code now it will work i think yeah here i'm able to see the output so uh one name name leela one and two we are able to add it right now let's try to see now here what we can do is why this one is showing in app.js 
let me comment out this one okay yeah now it will be very easy i think so now let let us design some uh, using this tailwind css let us design this one so here what i will try to have is here i will be having class is equal to flex and in this user details i can do class sorry class name we need to write so this is the confusing thing with other uh, front end uh, languages so what i can write here border border hyphen gray hyphen uh, 500 i can add a shadow and i can do something like p hyphen 4 and mx hyphen 2 and here i can add something like give h2 user prop types or something like this i will add okay we are adding validations for these things right so that is the reason i am using so we need to have a single root parent so that is the reason we need to add it if you want you can uh, what we can say you can use the react.fragment if you use if you want so here is the thing so here if i want i can make font hyphen bold okay so text hyphen excel if i try to see the output here we are able to see perfect right so we are able to see the two things now what i will try to do is here i will try to remove this id so now as here we need id as we need to we need id as a mandatory field so now let's try to check the output here if you try to see the output the id is not there and also in the console if you try to see there is no error we it is showing so it is simply showing the id as empty field and here it is not at all intimating that whether you need whether the id is a mandatory field so how could how could we solve this problem so for example if somebody is using this one if you are if you are creating this one as an npm package or anything so you need to make this id as a mandatory field so that means anybody who is using this i component so they they need to pass this id as a mandatory means how can i write those validations here okay so uh, what 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 the react js will do is so react js from 15.5 afterwards so they have moved this uh, react js if you go to react js okay let's go to the react js documentation and react js has moved this one to another library so if you want as this one is not a mandatory thing so they have moved this one to the uh, other other so has moved into a different package since react 15.5 so if you want to use this validations or validations for the props means you need to install a library that is nothing but npm install prop hyphen types so if you install this one so this one will be automatically installed so if you are writing validations to your project means you need to install this prop types okay so this one doesn't comes automatically shipped with the react core so it is a third part so it is developed by the react core team only but it, it was developed as a separate package so now let, let it take some time to install So prop types has successfully installed now what i will try to do is so let me close this one okay and here if you are trying to write validations for this props name and id what we need to do first we need to import the prop types here if you see here prop types we need to import let's try to import it here import prop types so you need to have a capital like this import prop types from as we have already installed prop hyphen types okay so now after installation we need to write the validations here whatever the validations you want right we'll be writing here first you need to take the class name okay dot prop types so this here it should be p should be small and t should be capital prop types is equal to it will be an object and here you will be writing all the props whatever you want so first one is the name right so name so what is the type of name so it should be so here you can mention using this method prop types dot and you will be able to see bunch of methods here so now here you can write props dot string so this is a valid one now here id so here if you try to see prop types dot it's a number right we can write it as a number okay so th that's it so we have written the validation whatever the props available in your component you can write it as an object like this so name and this is the props name and the type of thing now if you try to see here if i try to pass two as a string instead of as a number let's try to, first let's try to check whether this one is working or not 
if you try to see the output okay if i try to see the output so far why still this class class name is showing where we have written the user prop types here everything is class right okay here we are having still the class name okay now let's try to see the output i hope no warnings is there yeah so no 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 warnings or anything is there and we are able to see the output now what i will try to do is i will try to convert this id to a string but here the validation what we have written it we have made it as a number now let's try to see the output see here if we try to see failed prop type invalid prop id of type string supplied to user details expected is a number okay so this is the thing invalid prop id of type string so we are passing of type string supplied to user details component we have supplied but the component user details is expecting a number so successfully we have raised a error that this error warning will be raised in only development for your indication for in the production we will be not able to see now if i convert this one to the number then the error will go away okay as we already know as we have already seen the error will go away so if i try to refresh this one the error will go away now what i will try to do is here i will try to remove this id okay now i am only trying to send the name but here we have written that the prop type of id should be a number now if i try to see the output if you try to see if i try to refresh the output if you try to see here the id is uh, is showing it as empty but here nothing no no error is showing here so that means what is happening here is it is telling that the prop type should be of number if it doesn't provide any prop type it is not it is not doing anything so here we need to mention another one that is nothing but the required field so id whatever we uh, we need to send for this component it should be mandatory so for that one what we can do is we can do the chaining of things so i can write is required like this now if you try to see the output immediately you will be getting an error if i try to refresh this one see here you are able to get an error and the output will be showing so this is in the development we will be able to see the this type of errors failed prop type it is marked as required in user details but its value is undefined so here we have written a chaining something like it should be a number and it is also a required field so now if i mention the id here now it is done so now you are able to see the output so this is how we can do the mandatory field and also we can mention the data type of the props and also now for example i am not passing this name and i want to assign some default name for this one so how we can assign is the same scenario user details i can write sorry user details dot default you need to write default props okay is equal to same object and name and here i can write hi lila or something like this okay so if i mention this one and if you try to refresh okay what will happen let's try to see i am not sending anything right so here if you try to see here the name is hi lila why because we are not sending any prop any prop of type name so that is the reason what it is trying to do it is trying to take the default property default props so the default value of that prop it is trying to take so if you try to send this prop okay if you try to send this prop now see the output what will happen see the lila lila 2 will be displayed so it will not take the default prop okay hope you understood about this default props so what we have learned here we have learned about the prop types how to write the validation for the prop types and also here we have checked that is required and also the data type of the props and also we can we, we can assign the default property value for the props also we have seen okay so these are the prop types if you try to if you know if you try if you want to learn more about these prop types and also the data types which it is supported here you will be able to see prop types dot array prop types dot bool prop types dot func func means if the prop type is a function so we can assign func number object string symbol node element element type so these are all the property types data types which could be supported by the prop types okay so these are about the prop types and writing the validations for the props in the react component so same same thing we can if you want to write it in the functional components also the same thing happens okay so this is about the prop types if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you